a special situation is in Japan is that these red circles are the place where big earthquake with magnitude more than 6.0 took place. And as you see, you know, the regions where we have a lot of earthquake is along this line. I, I think it, this is familiar to you also. And especially in case of Japan, it is said that about 20% of large earthquakes are occurring near Japan. And these yellow circles are the places where there are nuclear power plants. And what we learned from Fukushima, I would like to point out six things. Okay. Well, the first thing I have to say is that uh, light water reactors are not designed fail safe. This is a concept of engineers. Okay. But unfortunately, no nuclear power plants have been designed according to this sort of concept. The second lesson we learned is that uh, training is really necessary for severe accident measures. Because we believed that there should not be any accident with a nuclear power plant, so we did not train people you know, for the accident. So they did not know what to do in case of accident. That was very unfortunate. Number five was avoid information concealment to the public. You know, during the accident, there were many informations about the accident which was hided from people by the government. And because of it, the government lost the confidence uh, from the people. So unfortunately, Japanese government lost its popularity among, among people during the ac uh, nuclear accident. Japan has a great field of scientific work that can be very valuable for us. And I think we are not using it. So that's a priority area. In Japan, it uh, was a priority area. En el uh, tema de energía eh, y también uh, ambos países uh, uh, tenían mucho uh, uh, sísmicos entonces, y tsunami también. Entonces Japón necesita, necesita uh, compartir su experiencia con Chile.